Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I really need to talk to you about what's going on in my worm bin. It's disturbing. Where's the Belfast Worm Farmer when you need one? Help! This is on the top of my worm bin. What the actual... They're snails! What? How in God's name... <gasps> I don't know, Betty. I don't like them either. Whoa. They're little snails. What do I do with them? Are they bad? Oh. I know they're bad for plants. All right, Betty, that's enough. Oh. I have I have freaking snails. Oh, my God. Oh. Is that bad? I have snails. Look at that. Oh. Look, I have snails all over the top of my worm bin. What the heck? Where did they come from? Oh my goodness. Snails, I got them out of my worm bin. I am going to see if my fish will eat them. Okay, let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this or not, but we're going to drop one in. Let's see if somebody eats it. Whoa, nobody's eating it. That's not cool. Maybe they just didn't see it. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. None of them are eating it. What? Huh. I wonder if that one was maybe dead. Let's try another one. All right, fishies. Oh! Nope, so somebody didn't need it. Let's see if they'll do it this time. Let's watch it drop from the top. It's coming. There it is. Whoop! Well, no. I can't believe they're not eating them. Wow. That sucks. Oh my god, look at all that crap in the tank. I need to clean this tank. These are the minnows. Look at that big one back there. Oh. I need to tell you a story about what happened to the other big one. Okay, here's the story of what happened to the other big minnow in my minnow tank. I originally had two. This past summer, I caught a bunch of minnows in a homemade minnow trap in a stream that runs out in front of my apartment. I had intended on using them for fishing. I used many of them for fishing, yes, but I put the rest in my 10-gallon fish tank just to see how long I could keep them alive. And I just kept feeding them fish food. Everybody was happy and whatnot. I keep the lights off in the tank so that it doesn't get a bunch of algae and whatnot so I don't like look at them all the time so about a month ago I noticed that the there was only one big one left and they started out at about four inches uh, the one that's remaining is now five or six inches so pretty big but anyhow I had no idea what happened to this other one I figured what did it just die and did the rest of the fish just eat it I figured that's what probably happened I just kind of went about my way and whatnot until one day I heard my pit bull Betty crunching away at something in the bedroom underneath the bed. That's where she goes when she takes stuff that she knows she's not supposed to have if she wants to chew on it. So I went back there into my bedroom and I called her out and says, come here, Betty, let me see it. I had no idea what it was. I mean, I certainly wasn't thinking it was a fish, but guess what? It was. It was the fish. It was the dried fish. She had somehow found the dead, dried up carcass of that other big minnow and decided today was the day she was going to take it and eat it. She had eaten about half of it and I got the rest of it out. I mean, had all the bones and whatnot. I just didn't want her to get choked on it. So yeah, that's what happened to the other one. Somehow it had flopped itself right on out of the tank and behind the cabinet where I have the fish tank and it just laid there and died basically. I had no idea. It didn't smell. There wasn't any weird odors or anything. And sure enough, that's what happened to it. So anyhow, yeah, story time with Anne. Yeah. So let's move on and see what's going on in the actual worm bin.
Let's take a little look inside the worm bin and see if there's anything interesting going on. Oh yeah, look at, look at, look at all the worms. This was more squash that I put in there. And check it out, they are totally eating it. Um, let's see what's going on over here. Oh yeah, look, wormies, big fat worms. Oh, that's so cool. I'm getting more and more. Um, okay, look, look, I can just pull, pull it back and there's worms everywhere. Let me check out what's over here. Oh, look, yes, yeah. Big old worms, I love, I love big old worms. All right, let's look over here. Oh, yeah. It's going good. It is going good, guys. Look at all those worms. There's a ton of them. And there is, let's see if I can get this in focus. Well, I need to learn how to film, don't I? There's cocoons everywhere. Just every, everywhere. Right on. What? I think I just saw a snail. I thought that they just crawled around on the outside. Plenty of cocoons. Yeah, these are happy worms. Whoops. Is the one trying to get out? No. I don't think so. I don't think so, you big fat worm. All right. Very cool. I'm doing good. I don't think I'm going to feed them today. This stuff is just, oh my god, so rich. All right. Okay, what do you suspect? What do you think those worms are doing? Hmm? Well, it looks like those worms are getting kind of cozy. Why can't I get it to focus? They're all wrapped up. Oh my gosh, you think they're doing it? <laughs> so Belfast Worm Farmer, do you think this means certain death for my worms? You know, the snails? Everybody, if you're someone who likes worm farming, please make sure you visit this gorgeous family worm farm channel and subscribe. This guy and his two cute little boys share a wealth of knowledge about worms and worm farming, so you won't be sorry. I'll leave a link to his channel below. Tell him Anne's Tiny Life sent you. Thanks for watching, and if you like this silly little video, please hit a thumb and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to get in on the amazing and wondrous things going on in Anne's tiny life. Have a good one.